Welcome back to my channel and if you want to know how I got these bomb ass pink nails just keep watching. So we're going to start by pushing the cuticles back. Um, this is in fast forward too so I'm not really moving this fast. And excuse my ashy ass hands but you know it be like that when you're doing it. I'm filing, getting off the shine on my nails after I push my cuticles back. I'm going a little bit faster. Also, I didn't do my right hand because that would have just took way more time because my left hand is not my dominant hand. So doing my right hand, I normally do them separately, but if I really get the time, I do them both together. Just yesterday, last night, when I was doing my my um, left hand, I didn't really have the time to do both hands. I had other things I had to do. But right here, I'm just brushing off the dust. I put my nail tips on. As you can see, one is clear, and the rest is just, you know, the regular clear white looking ish. Because one is gonna be um, one is gonna be like clear and pink. So I had to use clear so it could look like a glass nail, you know. And I'm cutting them and I'm shaping them. Actually, I cut these too short. I wanted them longer, but how I work, once you hit these nails, ladies, I know y'all know what I mean when you hit your nails. On something and that pain just shoots through your nail bed, your finger. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. I actually hit my nails today and I'm just like, these were short. But yeah, I'm gonna do long nails on my next video because I have like a little break from work or whatever. But I'm gonna do long nails on my next videos and I'm going for the stiletto shape. And for those who don't know, stiletto is a pointy shape. using scissors with a little curve to it and a straight the straight um toenail clipper one clips and i'm sorry if the camera is not at the best angle i actually gotta give me a a, um, a higher tripod so that the camera can sit a little bit above my hand so it can look down on my hand and not you know like kind of sad by sad it's somewhat high but it's not as high as I would want it to be so I'm still cutting and getting my shape together Now I'm filing the, the shape to perfect the shape. And my light keeps going out. I need new batteries in it. But I just decided I'm going to just get a whole new lamp where I could just plug it in. And I ain't got to deal with the battery situation because the whole video, this light is going to go on and off constantly. And it was driving me a little bit crazy, but I did it. I dealt with it. I conquered it. It did not. It did not overcome me. <laughs> Damn, why come back on? <laughs> I'm still shaping, and I'm still perfecting my shape, getting the shape that I want. I like the real pointy tip, so yeah.
that pinky was not trying to get right for me. As you can see, I spent a little time on it. But, yeah. I did it. And now, I'm going to go in with my drill. And I'm right here, I'm just shaving down the, you know, the nail that I put on. Blended it in with my, my nail bed and putting it on its level, basically. And that sound that you hear is my cord banging up against my desk. So. And I make sure I'm real careful so I don't fail. But yeah, right now I'm just fouling, doing a little fouling before I lay my acrylic. Let me fix that a little bit. I messed it up a little bit. These are the primers and dehydrator I use. It's by Mia Secret. And they actually work pretty good for me. I don't really get lifting or anything like that. So I may stick to these, but if I find something better or if you guys really know some good ones, let me know. Leave them in the comments. And right here is my Mia Secrets beige that I'm going to be using to do my, you know, ombre and yeah. Also, I'm using um a Mia Secret in hot pink and light pink too. I got these Mia Secret acrylics from Amazon and they wasn't really expensive and the monomer that I'm using is from what is that place called sugar and cream sugar and cream .com. also on Instagram you can follow them it's not that expensive I believe I paid $15 for for it and they have a, a big bottle of it for like I think 20 some dollars. I'm not sure, but you could just make sure you check out their page so you can see for yourself. It's some good monomer, but I feel like it's real strong. You know, the scent, the odor is like real strong, you know. If I could find better, I would. If you guys know a better monomer that's not so potent with the odor, then let me know. I would really appreciate it. Right here, I'm laying my acrylic.
see me, I do like little ball methods. I don't do the like big ball methods. I gotta get better at that and practice on that a little more. But this works for me, so this is what I'll be doing until I find a better type of way or better method that's you know easy and simple for me to do on this now i'm doing like clear and hot pink i'm just literally putting the colors anywhere i'm just swirling swirling them together and that's all this nail is going to consist of is just clear and hot pink I wish that was longer, I really do. But I'm also gonna do them over. A better set, a different set, should I say? This set is pretty nice. Making sure I get that cuticle area. Make sure it's nice and flush. Make sure I'm not drowning it out. You know, gotta keep it real cute. Keep it looking nice. Basically, you can see what I'm doing, so I really don't need to say much. You guys could just sit back, watch, enjoy, and see the designs, and see the products I use, my techniques. I'm gonna also post some more in-depth videos of how I do certain things and how it works for me. Right here I'm doing light pink at the tip and the beige Mia Secret, you know, as the like base ombre color that's going over, you know, the light pink. And this nail was really pretty. I liked it. It was cute. When the sun shine, we shine together. Go to all the people that I like you. You guys, it's almost a new year. How are you feeling? What's your, what's your goals for this year? What's your plans for the new year's? Me? I don't really know what I want to do yet. I don't want to do too much, especially if it's cold. I'm not the type of person that likes the cold weather. Like, no. I'm the type of person, oh, once I'm in the house in winter time, I'm in the house. I don't want to come out. I might, though. I tried to do the netting method, you know, the little net nail on this pinky finger. As you can see, I'm trying to hold it with my thumb and it just was not working out for me at all. Oh my God, it was not working out for me at all. And then I tried to, I put a light pink at the bottom. And then I tried to put the dark pink in the, you know, the netting Spots that you know the net was supposed to be there, but yeah, it didn't turn out horrible. But I didn't do the netting method good, I gotta practice on that some more. Now it's time to put my clear over everything to make sure when I'm filing that I don't file off my colored acrylic.
I do the I do the um wipe left, wipe right, wipe middle, and that works for me, honestly. I'm so glad I I seen a uh, video. I don't know which one in particular, but I seen a video where it said wipe left, wipe right, and then in the middle, and that been working for me ever since. I love doing it because it just turns out perfect and right every single time. Make sure your bead not too runny, but not too dry. You know, you gotta make sure you can spread it, but you don't want it to run down your nail and you don't even have a nail forming because the acrylic is running, you know? And now you gotta wipe it off and whatnot, or it's dripping off, should I say. I remember when I first started doing nails, I could not get the, don't put the acrylic on the cuticle part right. I was just like, why is my cuticle super crusty with acrylic stuff? Ugh. But I got it, I got it right, and I thank God, because practice makes improving, because nothing is perfect. My hand is kind of out of focus at the camera. I apologize about that. Once again, I said I'm gonna try to get a better tripod and better equipment and stuff like that. So my videos on my nails can be better for you guys. I had to use a little bit more monomer for the thumb because I was running out or it was evaporating, whatever you want to say. <laughs> also, I don't pull my monomer until I'm actually finna use it, you know. Like while I'm fouling and I'm pushing my cuticles back and I'm shaping my nails before I lay my acrylic and stuff like that, I don't just have my monomer sitting in the, the dabbing dish because it will evaporate and then you're just wasting your money. So when you're finna actually lay your acrylic, pour your monomer, save your money. Now I'm going back in with my drill bit. I don't remember where I got the drill bit from. But I know it's a smooth top drill bit. So yeah, this is this works pretty good and it has like the safety tip so you don't cut your cuticles, cut your clients. This is like my favorite drill bit. And also, I I fell downward, not side to side, cause I like the I don't know, I like a more natural looking nail. Like I grew this out of my you know own nail bed instead of a big round bubbly stiletto. I don't like that type of look at all.
So right here, all I'm doing is just fouling, making sure everything is good. I'm probably fouling a little bit more than I would normally have to, but I gotta make sure they're right. Done filing. Now let me use my hand file to make sure everything is super crispy. I'm brushing off the dust and I'm getting ready to buff them and then I'm gonna put on my cuticle oil. The cuticle oil that I use is like a lemon scented cuticle oil. I also got that from Amazon as well. I don't remember what the price was, but it wasn't expensive at all. I really like it because of the lemon scent. It smells pleasant, not too strong. I'm gonna go wash that off. And I'm back and I dry with a paper towel. I don't dry with a towel, a paper towel. Look, and that is how they look before the top coat and before the jewels and the diamonds and Swarovskis. I was feeling myself, ooh wee! <laughs> Them nails is crispy, like crispy chicken, chicken. I use the IBD gel as glue to keep on my gems and it works pretty well for me and it keeps my gems on until I'm ready to do my nails over. Sometimes I get a couple that fall off like at least one or two, maybe not even none at all. But I love to use this to keep my gems on. Do you guys use this to keep your gems on or what do you use? Do you actually use like you know, glue and stuff. I know some people use nail glue. Now I'm gonna roll that on. I don't put a super thick coat of this because I don't want my nail to be super bulky and fat and uneven from the other nails, so. I keep it as thin as possible, but make sure it's enough on there to lock in my gems. Cause I'm gonna put the 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 diamond caviar on there. Only on this point finger I'm gonna put that. Making sure everything is good and right and looking nice. Put a 
big dining right there and I'm gonna just cover the rest of the nail in the nail diamond caviar I gotta um what I'm using to scoop it is a cuticle pusher but it has like you know a scooping situation going on so I'm just scooping it dumping it on my nail and so every spot is covered and it's looking flawless and it's looking shiny light keeps going off but you know for now I'm slightly pressing them in there and wiping off any excess that may fall off anyways because it's like hanging off and then I cure it for 60 seconds and it's in there it's dry it's set is ready <laughs> next nail is the clear and the hot pink nail I'm gonna just put like seven diamonds around the cuticle area of that nail so I can get the popping and blinking and make it kick off with the clear look you know it looks nice I like it and this is my wax pencil. And then I just place my Jim Swarovski's with. One thing about this, one thing about using the IBD gel is you gotta keep pushing them back in place, the gems back in place because they get the sliding. And if you put a, your your hand inside of the the lamp, the UV lamp then it's gonna dry like that so make sure it's exactly where you want it before you put it in there because it's gonna be stuck and set like that you will have to take them off with a cuticle nipper to get them off so make sure it's exactly how you want it before you put your hand in the UV lamp on to the next nail I'm gonna do the one with the light pink tip ombre with the beige and I'm going to use gold decorations on this one. Also, you can check out my Instagram page to see these nails or see the feedback on these nails and other nails that I've done. Also, I post a bunch of nail inspo pictures like every day. So if you want to check out my page, I'll leave it in the description box. But it's also nails by bunny p on instagram so check it out show some love i appreciate it so much thank you but i'm making sure that my gold decorations are in place and they're set and they're looking nice seconds and out and cured <laughs> the 
And now I'm just, for the pinky finger, I'm just placing some gems on it from the cuticle going around the shape of the nail to the tip of the stiletto. And they're not close, they're like spaced apart. You guys will see, you will see. Now it's time for the thumb. I'ma just do a simple gem at the cuticle area, just one in the middle, and then at the very, very tip of the stiletto nail, I'm gonna place a tiny gem. Well, like, basically one of my tiniest. You think it don't matter, but hey, that mug gonna shine. Don't underestimate the gym by its size. It's gonna do you right, okay? Also, you don't just wanna leave the IBD gel just thick around that gym, because if you do, it's gonna be noticeable even after you put your your um, top gel coat, you know, on your nail. So make sure you wipe that IBD gel in or off with, you know, a, a brush or your finger if you are that steady handed. And this is the top coat I use. I love it. It's called Beatles. It's from Amazon. This is like the best top coat. And I don't think I'm going to another top coat. I've never seen a gloss, a top coat last this long. My nails will stay shiny no matter what, okay? I'm trying to tell you, use this. I will not lie to you. I will not lie to you. This is some good top coat. Your nails stay shiny forever. So that means they always look new and fresh if they shine forever. And I'm just painting on the nail, not on the Jim Sarastis. And I'm not drowning the nail in gel polish. I, I hate when clients be like, put a lot, put more, put more. It's like, believe me, this right here, it's going to get the job done. You ain't gotta drown it. It's gonna do you right. Okay, and I'm just finishing up, putting my top coat gel on. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you thumbs it up. And do not forget to subscribe because I'm posting nail videos all the time. So if you like nail videos, you like nail tutorials, and a lot of other stuff I'll be doing, make sure you subscribe. Hit that thumbs up and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.